everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Kelly and today I am doing something different that I have done before. I tried a shell challenge very, very, very long ago and I thought this month I would try my hand at some more. I've been feeling a little bit more confident with my building styles, but I know shell challenges aren't made to be easy, so this is the first one I attempted. This one was created by Ann Chris 20 and I kind of feel like I almost copped out a little bit with the roofing because I only used roofing on half of it and the rest of it I just did tile. Let me know if you think I should have done roofing the entire way through, but say it all with me. I hate roofing, so it is what it is. I was kind of more inspired by like a Spanish revival for the outside of the house. And then on the inside, when we get there, I'll explain a little bit more, but I was thinking like the sim that lived there is a bit more creative and eclectic and a little cluttery. And they would love having a bunch of like art pieces and things that were important to them, just kind of like scattered and sprawled across the house. So that's why I kind of leaned into thinking it's about like an artist's dream house type thing. It's relatively small. It's a one, one and a half, but I really like how the backyard turned out, so I will see you guys at the walkthrough.
So here is the final look of the house. I really like how this one turned out. I think it's really cute and quaint and I love the vibrancy of the color. I included some solar panels on the back because if you have a flat roof you might as well. And we are starting in the little foyer area. Nothing too major but you walk straight into the kitchen and you have these gorgeous large windows where you can see all out back. I just kind of left that one area open. It'd be kind of cute if you get it like a breakfast nook there, but I didn't know if there'd be enough space. And there's an aquarium. You see the front foyer area, like the thermostat and the shoes. This room, I kind of leaned more into like blues and yellows. That was my color scheme for like the kitchen dining room area. Here's the porch with a little grill and some seating. Outside, we have some planters, a bike around the back. Nothing too fancy, but a little bit of added detail to make it feel a little bit more homey. I don't know what's around that corner, but good job, Kelly. I'm glad we showed a blank corner and the trash can. That's the most important thing to show, so good job. The deck turned out really, really nice. I like how there's little touches outside, and I actually feel pretty good about my landscaping abilities. As we go back inside, like I said, the dining room kitchen was kind of like a yellow and blue color scheme. We are going into the half bathroom downstairs, which has a laundry unit with it. And I kept a little bit more neutral, but it's kind of like blue and teal themed. I like cooler colors typically, so I'm not surprised that kind of showed. And here, the family room is more purple and blue. Purple, blue, and yellow, I would say I focused on. Couch some books, some hobbies scattered around, and little knickknacks, a gaming console, some board games on the floor. It's trying to make it feel very lived in and homey. And then we are going to go up the ladder. I really wish we had space for a staircase, but there just wasn't enough space. Then we have kind of an office area right here. So we have a Sims computer and some art, yoga, guitar, so whatever the Sim is into. Maybe a nice little artist haven. And the bedroom was kind of orange and teal themed. I really actually like how that painting in the back kind of matches the room. And then I kept thinking about a pink bathroom for some reason. I just thought that'd be really cute and different. Made me think of like the 1960s and everything. Although I'm fairly certain I used the same color scheme when I did the Not So Berry Challenge the first time, so it is what it is. And that's the final look at my house. What do you think I could have improved on? Do you think I should have done the roof slightly differently? Do you think I should have kept like a consistent styling inside and outside? If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.